Unfortunately, acne is not a disease that can be treated once, and then it is good. Instead, it accompanies most of them for several years. For you, this means a daily fight against painful pimples with the help of gentle care against the blemishes. The good thing is that gentle and caring measures can be incorporated into the daily routine. In this way, the treatment of acne can succeed in the long term and give you your self-confident appearance with a healthy appearance. We'll reveal the daily routines that will help you achieve this. The do's and don'ts for acne. Acne means stress for the skin. It is therefore important that you support your skin as much as possible. This is possible on the one hand with suitable care products and on the other hand by avoiding certain activities. For acne, you should consider these dose. Wash your hands regularly so that they do not transmit bacteria or pathogens when they come into contact with the facial skin. Pimples can be removed individually. You can apply special products overnight or drizzle warm cotton pads with tea tree oil and place them on the pimple. You can also put ice cubes on the pimples for a short time. On the one hand, this numbs the pain somewhat and, on the other hand, relieves the swelling. Make sure that facial cleansers are soap-free, pH neutral, and therefore somewhat acidic. Before applying the agent, you should use warm water that opens the pores. The agent with the ingredients can then work directly. You should then wash off the detergent with cold water, which causes the skin pores to contract again. You can also enjoy steam baths for deep cleaning. With the right ingredients, see below, the healing effect is enhanced. Oil in water emulsions help against acne. Use acidic peels that gently remove dead skin cells once or twice a week. Do not apply peels to open pimples. The following ingredients help with acne. Astringents benzoyl peroxide salicylic acid surfactants fruit acid aloe vera chamomile tea tree oil panthenol. After cleansing, you should apply fatty creams to your skin. You can mix some tea tree oil in the concealer to not only cover the pimples but also to help them heal directly. Use oil-free and mineral products for your makeup. The powder is also better for the skin than opaque creams. Last but not least, don't forget to take off your makeup at the end of a nice day. Here are the don'ts. If possible, keep your hands off your face. Because the contact not only transmits pathogens, but also fat and sweat to the already irritated skin. Do not squeeze pimples. This rule always applies because open wounds are more flammable and can leave scars. Do not wash your face too often. Otherwise, you risk dry and irritated skin. Twice a day and after exercise is usually sufficient. You should not use peeling wash gloves to clean the areas affected by acne. Instead, you should choose soft materials or just wash them with your hands. Water and oil emulsions, on the other hand, exacerbate the symptoms. Do not use face brushes too often and make sure that the brushes are not too hard. You should avoid the following ingredients. Oils perfumed products lanolin paraffin isohexadecane. Do not use creams that contain perfume. Do not apply your makeup immediately after cleaning. Instead, give your skin 20 to 30 minutes. Don't use too many products at once and avoid covering the entire skin. Because this means that the skin can no longer breathe and is hindered in its self-healing processes. In order to get rid of acne in the long term, it is important to wash everything regularly, where bacteria feel comfortable e.g. the display of your smartphone, the computer keyboard, handles and knobs, tea towels, towels, washcloths, bed linen, the hairbrush and in-ear, headphone. In most cases, it also helps to source your care products from a brand. The advantage of this is that the products are coordinated. In this way, you avoid over-treating your skin with too many different agents. It also prevents the ingredients contained from interfering with each other and weakening the success of the treatment.